Hey everyone, today Zeke and I are going to show you how to make, what are we making? Jello salad. Jello salad. We're going to make orange jello salad. It makes a great side dish for any holiday dinner. Easter's coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas. The whole family will love it. We're going to go over the ingredients for this mandarin orange jello salad with you. So we have two cups of, what is this? Sour cream. No, it's cottage cheese. Cottage, cottage cheese. Two cups of cottage cheese, and it's small curd. Make sure you have small curd. We've got a three ounce box of, what kind of jello is this? Orange jello. Orange jello. Orange jello. Mm -hmm. And then we've got one can, or 14 ounces. I think my can was 15 ounces, but we've ate a couple, so it'll balance out, of mandarin oranges. Yeah. They're your favorite, aren't they? And then we've got one can or 20 ounces of crushed pineapple. 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 <laughs> and then we've got Marmel. marshmallows, two cups of mini marshmallows. Yeah, and now you pour the orange. And then we've got, hang on, hang on. We got a whole container, eight ounces of whipped cream, Cool Whip, mm -hmm. the good stuff. So now we're gonna get started mixing this up before he pours all the ingredients in all at once. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. We're going to put two cups of cottage cheese in the bowl. You got it? Yeah. Go. I'll help you. All right. Oh, Good job. So cool. Okay, we've got three ounces of orange jello. And it's just the powder, so we don't mix that up beforehand because that'll change the entire texture of your recipe. So just the jello powder. Good job. <laughs> So you'll give that cottage cheese and jello mix a good stir till it's all mixed together. Now, I have had uh, readers ask if you can use sugar-free jello, and you can. I haven't tried it, but I don't see why you can't use sugar-free jello. But you'll also have to make sure that a lot of the other ingredients you're using are sugar-free too. Like you would want to look for sugar-free marshmallows. Uh, you want to make sure there's no sugar added to your fruit. Um, a sugar-free whipped cream. So if you're going to go sugar-free, you need to make sure you check all of your ingredients, not just the jello. I think that's mixed up pretty good and we're ready for the next step. Now we're going to add the fruit. Now you can use fresh pineapple and fresh mandarin oranges. Canned is just easier, so we're going to use canned today. So go ahead and dump those oranges in, baby. I'm going to do it by myself. I'm going to do it by myself. Okay, and then we're going to have, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Get your hand out of the way. There you go. Crushed pineapple. Now we drained the pineapple as good as we could, and we drained the oranges too. Um, and you can just use a can colander, it makes it a lot easier to strain those, strain that liquid off. So now we're going to stir this fruit in. It's hot and it's You want to stir it? it? You want to stir it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is an easy recipe for the kids to help with, and they have a lot of fun with it too. It's snacking on the marshmallows and the oranges. Okay, let me see it. <laughs> All right. Now, are you ready to dump some marshmallows in? Yeah. Okay, so we've got, can you tell them we have two cups of marshmallows? Yeah. Okay. Two cups of marshmallows. Good job. Yay, good job. All right. Now can I mix? Yes, mix it up. Mm -hmm. I'll get the Cool Whip open. And I want the A in. You want to dump it in? Yeah. Mm. Let's get these marshmallows you spilled out. Can't <laughs> waste any. There's one there. We're stirring in eight ounces of whipped cream. And you can use homemade whipped cream, but it's easier. I'm just using Cool Whip. No, you have to wrap on ours. Um, 
So once you have it all mixed up, then you're just gonna cover it over with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for at least an hour and let it chill before you serve it. Now, I wouldn't recommend making this ahead of time. It's not going to uh, stay very good and the ingredients will kind of all mush together after a day or two. So I would just make it right before you're ready to serve it or the day of. And then I also wouldn't recommend freezing it either because that will change the entire texture of the whole. Um, with the cottage cheese and the jello and everything, I just wouldn't recommend freezing it. But it's so easy to make. Just a few ingredients, you dump it all in, stir it together. It's really easy to make the day of. And it's the perfect side dish for Easter dinner, Thanksgiving, Christmas, any of those holidays. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the fridge and then uh, it'll be ready for later. There are a few things you could do to this recipe to kind of change it up. Like you could use a different flavor jello. You can make strawberry or cherry or even lime. Um, you could, any flavor jello would work. You could use flavored marshmallows. They make strawberry marshmallows, fruity marshmallows. Um, you could add nuts to it. Walnuts or pecans would be a really great addition and add some more texture to it. You could use Dream Whip instead of Cool Whip. That's another type of whipped topping that you could use. Um, you could use different fruit, maybe a fruit cocktail mix, or add some cherries in, some maraschino cherries, even some berries. And then you could also uh, use pineapple tidbits instead of crushed pineapple if you wanted more of a texture to the pineapple in the salad. There's a lot of things you can do to this Jello salad to switch it up and make it your own. enjoyed this jello salad as much as we do be sure and like follow and subscribe i'll see you guys next time mm.